The evidence of trade is a purchase invoice that shows a Czech Republican warehouse as departure country. Here you see a sample invoice we have created with the main information in yellow, the VAT number of that invoice, the shipping date, as well as the ship from information and the VAT number that is applying in this situation. All the other information is basically regular invoice information that needs to be shown as well, like the invoice number, the Amazon order ID, your company details, maybe your company header and your logo, as well as the billing and shipping address of the consumer. How to get this information? Either you can create this invoice in your own invoicing program, then it might be that this information is already displayed. I will now show you how to get this information directly from your Amazon Seller Central. You visit your Seller Central and you click on Reports, Fulfillment by Amazon, and then you navigate to the Amazon Fulfilled Shipments Report. Here you can request a report by selecting the exact date or date range from when you will from what dates you want to receive the orders. Please note that you should select a date that is very close or the closest possible to your actual validity date in the country you selected. Here you can then request the report and download it. I've downloaded a report already and opened it in Excel. I imported it in Excel. Here you see all the different informations and I already selected one information by scrolling on the right and searching for a Czech Republican warehouse. I found the Czech Republican warehouse in, the last, in, the, in those last columns where you see the Fulfillment Center ID. I will later provide you a list of all the different warehouse codes so that you are able to find one. This is the ID of PRG, so Prague, number two. So this is a, a shipment that is sent from the Czech Republic. And now I can copy paste the information like the tracking number, the carrier, the prices, the billing details, the consumer's name, as well as all the other relevant information of this shipment. If I want to look for further information, I can also just select the Amazon order ID and search for it in Seller Central to see all further details. Now I can use this information to copy paste it into my sample invoice, into my invoice, the shipping date, the order ID, as well as the tracking ID and the carrier. Um, in some situations, you could also use the tracking ID to search for it online at your carrier's website to get a shipping confirmation attached. This is not necessary, but might be helpful as well. Um, in order to find the exact address of this warehouse, you would simply have to Google the, the warehouse code um, to get this information. I will also provide you a list of different warehouses we already, um, we already know the addresses from. Please note, as I said, that the shipping date should match the validity date or should be very close to the validity date of the country you would like to apply for. So if you want to apply for a VAT number in Czech Republic on 1st of, of April, the shipping date or the shipping you're actually selected should also be from this week or from the time close to this date. Please also note that it's not necessary to display a Czech Republican VAT. In this example, the goods were sent from Czech Republic to a consumer in Germany and therefore the VAT is actually 19% German VAT and this VAT ID shows the German VAT. So please note that this is not necessary, it's just necessary to show that the departure country is Czech Republic. Thank you.